process will not match to the film in life. All you need to do is hold on. Welcome to the Pantheon Parenthetical. My name is Lance Ash. A couple of days ago, I turned 50 years old. And, um... I've been planning for this for a while. Been planning to get my ducks in a row. To get... A certain level of, um organization as to my uh, plans for here on out. And I think I've done that. I got some uh, plans made. Anyway, I had told myself for some time now that when I turned 50, I was going to start writing my autobiography. And in keeping with that, I'm going to um, start making this program a little more overtly autobiographical and um, so I'm going to start telling the story of my life, true stories from my life as much as I can there are certain people that will get their feelings hurt if I tell certain stories or tell, tell, tell stories in a certain way so I don't want to do that. Um, but one of the things that I just thought of before I got in the car tonight was about how, for me, online in general, and YouTube specifically, has become a minefield. I mainly watch or listen to YouTube videos for uh, my screen-based entertainment. Um, I do a lot of drawing and painting and I've just gotten to the point where listening to music usually doesn't cut it. Um, so I'll put on something interesting to listen to on a, on YouTube for the for background racket while I'm painting or doing whatever. And it's become increasingly difficult to find things I can listen to without being put out of joint. I need to establish exactly where I stand on political and social issues. Because in order to filter out the things that I hear and see online, I need to know exactly where I stand. And just adopting a term or a label for myself is not going to do it because I consider myself a liberal because that's the term that was used when I was a child for people who were in the general left-wing camp. But of course now there are a lot of people that I ostensibly agree with on the left who don't use the word liberal anymore. Liberal has become a bad term because there's certain connotations, certain associations with it. No, now progressive is the term or there are people who use the other terms. So it's, I don't think that it's um, productive for me to just grab a label and go with it. And I'll give you an example of one thing that re one of the things that really bothers me um, I'll be hunting for something to watch and I'll find somebody that's, that's an atheist and promotes an atheist uh, viewpoint. I'm like, okay, this sounds good. This will be something I can watch or listen to. And then in the middle of the video, they'll um, 
espouse an anti-feminist opinion. And I'm like, what? Where did this come from? I thought, I naively assumed that because you agree with me on this issue, that you would agree with me over here. Or there'll be anti-social um, programs, to put it in that term. Um, so, I mean, I don't know if I should raise the flag here on the program or not to say who I am, where I stand, you know, a laundry list of policy positions. I, I don't know. But anyway, we're approaching the end of the episode. I meant to talk about something else, but it didn't go that way. Anyway, that's the end of the episode. So thank you very much for listening.